Hey guys, this is Game Chums with Shark Tank Media. Uh, Tim and I are here. We're gonna play some Hearthstone. Uh, I guess this is the first single player game, technically. Yeah, and then it's well, not single player because <laughs> you are fighting against real people, but you know. Yeah, it's it's an online multiplayer game, obviously, but we're gonna be playing together. It's we're almost taking a single player game and making it co-op. Yeah. Um, pardon my voice, I, I am recovering from a cold, but the show must go on. And I actually kind of like my voice when I have a cold. It's really deep and manly. Uh, <laughs> so, right. uh, uh, if you're familiar with Hearthstone, we're going to do the arena mode, where basically uh, you're forced to choose a random hero out of three, and then uh, basically build up an entire deck of 30 cards with all randomly... Uh, not right. selected cards, but... Right, uh, well, it is... So you get a choice of three for each card. Yeah. And then, so we're going to talk you through, you know, our choices for each card, and then we'll talk you through the moves we do as we're playing the game. And we're, you know, this, we're going to do a full series of episodes where we do a full arena. Hopefully don't, we don't immediately lose three games. Uh, <laughs> don't want to get steamrolled. Yes. Putting our heads together, we should be twice as good. Or, you know, you know, just as good as a good player. Yeah. So Dane is actually fairly new to the game, but he's been playing the crap out of it. It seems like since you started playing it, I've only seen you playing the game. Like, uh, uh, yeah, it's the only game I've been playing for the past five right. days or so. Um, yeah. I had been interested in it for a long time because I really do like TCGs. Um, I, I played a ton of Pokemon TCG, right. you know, when I was a teenager, and uh, and I really liked the the Game Boy cartridge version. Oh, Pokemon that game was TCG. so fun! It was the first actual like virtual version of a TCG that I had ever played. Yeah, and it just it makes it so much cleaner and so much easier when you're playing it as like a video game or a computer sure. game. Yeah, and so this just really takes me back to those days. Yeah, and you know, Magic Online has been around for like over 10 years, yeah. but it just never kicked off because I they, they never like, you know, they never marketed it like this game was and it never had like the support of a company like Blizzard backing it. It had Wishes of the Coast backing it, but they're, you know, they're not big in the digital scene. You know? Yeah, I wonder if they didn't really push it because they had enough spotlight on the actual physical Magic card. Yeah, and I mean, obviously the, the physical, I mean, I'm not going to make any accusations here, but the physical game is going to be a lot more profitable. Yeah. For yeah, sure. Totally. Uh, <laughs> but, but here we have Hearthstone, it's, you know, they're Obviously, there isn't a, a physical version of it, so it is what it is, and it's it's doing really well. I mean, it's and it, it just went out of beta somewhat recently. Yeah, yeah, within the last few weeks. Um, I actually got in the closed beta like six months ago, and I was playing it a lot back then. I haven't been playing a lot. I played for a lot for about a month, and then I, I've been playing off and on since then. So there's actually been a couple... Uh, patches that have come out and changed cards that I knew really well that I don't know as well anymore, so it'll be interesting. Uh, well, uh, which of these three... I, I mean, you might be wanting I'm, to pick Rogue, right? Yeah, I'm more familiar with Rogue, but I mean, I, you know, I'm happy either way. Is there one that you would prefer? Um, I'm most familiar with Hunter. I'm a little familiar with Rogue. I'm not all that familiar with Warlock. However... Um, do you know, is Hunter fairly strong in Arena? I, I feel like they're not because you know, a lot of it, their decks are really reliant on having a, a choice beasts. over your cards. Yeah, that's true, but you can say that about any any class for that's the most true. part. Um, and there's no way it's not going to give you a handful yeah, of beasts. Exactly. You definitely, you definitely are going to get... Let's just do it. Let's do Hunter. You're okay. definitely going to get Hunter cards to choose from. Now, this is an interesting choice. <laughs> now, the Ancient Watcher is cool when you can give it Taunt. Or uh, s silencing your own Ancient Watcher is a neat thing to do, too. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, so I don't know that the Imp Master is really going to synergize much with this deck. Um, I'm not even a fan of the Ravenhold Assassin. I don't think any of these three are very good. Like a no. Ancient Watcher specifically is not a good one to pick right at the start because you don't know if you're going to get a silence later on. Yeah, Imp you Master, don't know if you're going to get a taunt later Imp on. Imp Master has its place... Um, in like warlock decks or uh, paladin decks that run sword of justice, uh, the one that increases when a mo when a minion is spawned, it increases it at plus one plus one. Basically, mm -hmm. you throw that out there with your sword of justice, and then every time she summons an imp, it's going to be a two two. Um, uh, we might just have to go with Ravenhold Assassin here, though. I mean, if if Imp Master is most yeah. valuable uh, with another class. Yeah, um, I am tempted to try the Ancient Watcher. But really. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this is um, a tough one. This is tough because Iron Fur Grizzly is is quite a good uh, early game taunt. Yeah, especially for hunters because it's a beast. And then scavenging hyena, you can get some crazy combos in hunter decks with that. Um, but Shattered Sun Cleric Shattered is, Sun almost, Cleric a, is, is almost a, a pick. Good card. It's almost a pick every time. Yeah, card. exactly. It oh, is, this sucks. Yeah, see, I hate it when we get three crappy cards and then three really good cards. Well, um, I'm willing to bet that there's going to be more beasts down the line well the thing is 
I, I, I te- tend to not like things that are going to depend on a certain thing. The status Shattered Sun Cleric is going to be good no matter what. That's true. Um, so is Iron for Grizzly, though. That's I mean, true. That's true. So so we got a choice here. Um, We can go with the Cleric because there's bound to be more taunts. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So I like the Tundra Rhino in this pick. Yeah. Uh, but I also like the Flesh Eating Ghoul. The Flesh Eating Ghoul can be really cool. Um, Man. They're both good. They're, they are both good. Now, Tundra Rhino can be crazy, but again, we don't have any beasts. Yeah, we only have two cards, but are we going to get beasts that can really... <laughs> I feel like we're going to have to. <laughs> that's true. Uh, as a hunter. Yeah, that's just a too good of a one to pass up. Uh, man, what the hell? This is a pretty crappy pick. Uh, uh, Boulder Fist Ogre's not bad. It's fairly... Yeah, yeah, no, Boulder Fist is the way to go, definitely. Um... Hmm. Deadly Shot can be situationally amazing, uh, but the Raging Worgen is... Raging Worgen is, is pretty good. It's um, good. And we don't have... Well, we're four cards in, so we don't have anything. But. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's the problem of doing an arena deck. It's like you can never you never know what you're going to get ahead. I'm not a big fan of tracking. Um, yeah, tracking, you have to have a deck built, and you need to be, you know, you have to have a deck that's built around a certain card, and you're looking for that certain card to yeah. use tracking well. So... Might as well go with the Raging Worgen. I yeah, mean, we true. have to fill out our minions. It's true, yeah. Okay, so Freezing Trap is not the best trap. Um, it can be. It can be amazing later in the game. Uh, Timberwolf, again, if we had beasts, both of these two well, are really contingent on having beasts. Well, we already picked a beast. Uh, we've got... Tundra, oh, wait, no. Tundra Rhino is yeah, the only beast Tundra we have. Beast. Um, I think I'm inclined to take this... Uh, I don't know. This is a tough call. <laughs> I mean... I, one or the other. I, I think that they'll both have Let's their, just take their the purposes. Plane. Yeah. Um, okay, so we can get a beast and a young dragon hawk, or we can get a very good card in the Sunjin Shield Master. Um, uh, obviously, don't want the warden. I would take the Shield Master. Yeah, we don't have any form on it yet, anyway. Um, okay, so all the three of these are good. Um, <laughs> I think Kill Command is amazing, but we don't have that many beasts right now. Yeah. So, um, the this... Dark Iron Dwarf is always good. Yeah, Di- Dark Iron Dwarf is... Uh... Did I say Dyke, Dyke Iron? Anyway. I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Like you said, Dork Iron Dwarf. Dork. Dor- <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... Okay, this is a tough call. This is really hard. The, uh, what you... I think the Dark Iron Dwarf. Um... Yeah. Just because it's it's good in so many situations now. Immediately, just no magma razor. That's a horrible card. Um, the razor friend hunter will summon a boar in the boars of beast. It's true. Uh, so that's a choice. Arcane shot is situational, but it, I don't know. It's it's sometimes it's a dead card. Sometimes, but but it can yeah it can early game it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Clear their trade their minions. Okay, so. What do you think? We don't have any spells yet. Yeah. So. Yeah, let's get Arcane Shot then. Yeah. Okay, Explosive Shot is incredible. Obviously, we don't have any secrets yet. (laughs) Plus, I don't even like the Secret Keeper at all. Um, Or the Wraith. Yeah, Explosive Shot. Definitely. Uh, okay, so snipe is a is a is a fun secret. Um, there's another hyena. Um, we got. Might want to go with the hyena in this case. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, the mechanic can be decent, but it's not the best. Okay, so the patriarch can be okay in hunter decks because it's a beast. Yeah. Um, but explosive trap. Is amazing. That's true. Um, Hopefully, we're not going to get to the point where we have a beast as an option and a non-beast as an option, and we pick the non-beast because we expect there to be more beasts later. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you're right. Explosive trap is really good. And, yeah, and, and the patriarch is te- typically not great. Yeah, he's a little better as a hunter. But yeah, let's get explosive trap because we don't really have anything that can clear. I agree. 
Um, well, we have Explosion Shot, but other than that. Okay, so this is kind of a crappy pick. Uh, the Iron Forge Rifleman's garbage. The Stone Tusk Boar is... It's okay for a 4 a 1 drop, but even then, like, I try to... I don't like many 1 drops. Sure. Because they're just... Uh, they almost feel like they're not worth the card. But the Kuribashi Berserker doesn't really synergize with the Hunter deck too much. Hmm. I feel like maybe the Berserker would be the best, because I... The rifleman's garbage for a three three mana two two i just don't like the rifleman yeah might as well go for the berserker okay so i really like the high main um, yeah i think the high main is the obvious pick. yeah uh ooh, a starving buzzard probably want to go for that i imagine the other two are, well, are also tempting. That's but... true, but we don't have a lot of beasts, so the starving buzzard isn't that great at this point. We Plus also we... don't really have anything that. We also don't have anything to uh, draw cards. Yeah, it's true. We don't have card draw. But I don't. I... In this deck, we can't really d depend, which sucks that we got the rhino now in hindsight, obviously. It's hindsight's sure. 50 50. I don't know. I think we should go with kill command just because it's removal. Um, or. You know, the Snapjaw's decent in a Hunter deck. Can be decent anyway. So you don't uh, think if we picked the Starving Buzzard that there wouldn't be enough beasts later that would make it work? I'd, I'd hate to be forced to pick the beast just to be a beast, you know? Sure. Okay. But I guess Kill Command kind of does the same thing. Yeah, let's do the Buzzard just because just, we're going to get more beasts, right? Direwolf Alpha. There we go. Although our curve's not looking too great. We'll have to hopefully get some threes and fours. Um... I want to say Kill Command at this point. Uh, it's removal. It's a three drop, which we don't have a lot of. Um, the Harpy's not fantastic. No, the Harpy I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for. Uh, the Hunter's Mark is tempting because it's a zero mana, and you can use it to save yourself from a giant minion. It's true. Um, let's go with Kill Command. Yeah, Kill Command can be really versatile. Hey, there's no chance to get Hunter's Mark. Although I do like the Earth and Rain Farce here. Yeah, the Farseer is pretty good. Um, and we do need more three drops. Hunter's Mark or Farseer? Um, go with Farseer, especially if we end up relying on certain beasts. We can yeah. keep them alive. Ooh, ooh. Now this is an interesting choice. We can get another high main or another explosive shot or a demolisher, which is always a good good card earlier, early on. Um, man. What do we do here? <laughs> so we have an explosive shot. We have an explosive trap. You know, we have, you know, board clears. Um, True. But, you know, while the high main is great, using two in a game, honestly, isn't that realistic. Uh, unless we last to the, the end game, but I don't know if we really have the cards to even do that. Uh, so do you think we should grab the Demolisher then? Uh, you know, the Demolisher is a good card. Yeah. But so is the high main. The only the thing I'm thinking with the high main actually. is that using the high main in tandem with the starving buzzard would be pretty good. That's true, yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go with the high main. More rares. More rares, so... Misdirection. So, misdirection, yeah. So That's basically, so situational. Yeah, exactly. Misdirection can be good, but, you know, it's a secret. I think but, Knife Juggler is probably the best one here. Yeah, probably. Um, another hyena. Um, we don't we don't have a weapon yet, so I would not. Four drops, yeah, definitely not the spiteful smith. Watch, we're gonna skip that, and then we'll get like two eagle horn bows or something like that. Yeah, well. <sighs> hyena. But man, that would have put us with so many two drops. But I don't want to overload on the high end either. I think the hyena is the best pick at this point. Yeah, but even though it's not great. Three hyenas that gives us. That's interesting. That could create some critical combos. Um, harvest uh, golem's really I'm good. I'm definitely going to go with the harvest golem at this point. You sure um, you don't want a core hound, though? You know, we're kind of heavy in the in the later game as it is. Are we? We got a Ravenhold assassin, an old ogre, and two high mains. Yeah, you're right. Um, we, and yeah. we don't have a lot of three drops. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. And <laughs> now war golem, of course. Or we could try Deadly Shot. Deadly Shot can be amazing. If, like, all he has is a, you know, like a 7-7 seven, seven or an 8-8 eight, eight or something. All they have is out there, you know, obviously. Yeah, Go yeah for it. let's do that. Because that's, you know, 
Wow, this is a bad choice. <laughs> I hate Shield Bearer. Man, what a bad card. Technically, Ogre Magi can make some of our shots do more damage. Yeah, that's true. Um, and we do need four drops. So yeah, there you go. We just categorically need four drops. I think in this case, we take the mechanic just because we need four drops. But Kill Command is great. Um, um, but how many? Do we have Kill Command? We have one. We, we have one, yeah. That gay Bart on the card. Penny Arcade. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. This is a tough choice. Because well, there's six, five picks left after this, and we don't yeah. know if any of them are going to have decent fours. Or even beasts. <laughs> or beasts. Um, How about some four beasts? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> are there even four beasts? I don't, can't think of any. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, we haven't got any animal, animal companions. I just realized that. Anyway, I guess either of these would be. Yeah, I I, I want to say this just because it's a four drop and we need four yeah. drops desperately. Okay. Um, flare, uh, which is really situational. Light warden, which is going to do nothing for us because we can't heal. So demolisher. Demolisher it is. Uh huh. Well. Ah. Uh, Brewmaster's Brewmaster. okay. I I'm gonna say Brewmaster because. Yeah, I just don't like if it's if it doesn't work at all for you to return a minion, you're forced to do it anyway. Yeah, that that I. I so you kind of have to pull them out before other minions if you don't want to return unless, minions. Yeah, and there's not a lot of things that'll synergize with it. Like maybe the Farseer will or the Dark Iron Dwarf, but there's not a lot that'll. It is kind of nice if you have if we have like a ogre who's down to two HP. Yeah. You know, pull him back in, but uh. I mean, I don't know. When an enemy uh, attacks, turn to the ocean. Freezing the freezing trap can be good, but well, both of these are situational, so. I'll just do Brewmaster then. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Minions. yeah. Okay, so here's an interesting choice. Do we want a fourth hyena or do we want a buzzard? Um We don't have a lot of a lot of beasts, so either neither, you know. <laughs> Well, we have three hyenas. Yeah, might as well take the buzzard. Just to, you know. Oh, there's a four drop. There you go. Good and... One. Okay. No wraith. Misdirection. Want to go with the injured blade master? We don't have a healing thing, but that's still well, we a have the four three for three. That's ah, true. We have a farseer. That would be actually be a good combo. If we manage to yeah. pull both cards. But yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's a decent card even without it. I'm not feeling super strong about this. No, but... I'm I'm I am hating this deck. Uh, but this is not the first time I've hated an arena deck I had, and I've had decks where I was like, "Wow, this is really bad," and then I ended up winning four or five games just because the other person had a worse. Exactly. Deck. <laughs> There's just so many, so much randomness that comes into you know what you have, what your opponent has, and how those things uh, affect each other and that kind of stuff. So, and sometimes you get crazy. You just get the perfect cards. You know what I mean? We do have some decent early turn setup because we got a lot of two drops. We have a lot of two drops. We can get some scavenging hyenas out, like buff them with a cleric. And... All right, so we got to get rid of that. That too. That might be worth keeping. I don't know. I tend to get rid of four drops. I do too. We can keep the blade master just because it's a it's a, it's a, it's a good turn three. Eh, knife juggler. Not too shabby. But still a lot of threes and fours. Of course, managed to get a no two drops, or sorry, just one two drop. Greetings, um, traveler. Great big Greetings. son. That's who we're playing against here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right, you. Well, I could coin out the knife juggler, but then we don't really have a the second turn because we don't have any two mana cards. Yeah. Uh, well, we could steady shot. That's true. That could be our turn too. Um, no. Pass or coin out the knife shot. What do you think? Um, let's pass. Probably a good move. Okay, so what's this guy doing? <laughs> Great big sun. I just I love the environments. How there's like you can make the this splash and you can cut these lines. Yeah. Start a fire here and knock the eye out. Ooh, if only we had a way to get rid of that. 
Uh, hmm. Well, I'll, let's see here. You could toss out the knife juggler. Um, and yeah. then and then the next turn. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the injured blade master can kill the light well after the if the knife juggler throws the knife at the light well, then the injured blade master can get it on his next turn. Sure, I think that's probably head. just the, the best thing to do in that situation. Um, Plus, we have the coin if we really need it. Yeah, and honestly, if it stays out for too long, we can, you know, we can Explosive blast it. Shot it yeah. Unless he uses what what's the thing that doubles the health of. Uh, I don't remember. Ooh, I was worried about that. Holy smite. Ah! Holy okay. smite. Holy smite. Batman. <laughs> Ooh, he's gonna heal me. Just thank Risk you. taker. Well played. <laughs> Alright. So what do you think's a better play? Blade Master or Worgen? Worgen could kill that. If well, no no, I'd have to get enraged to get Yeah, if you were a mage. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I love that. That's an amazing card for Mage Deck. Yeah. But anyway, Blade Master? Yeah. Putting out the Magi, that's not going to do much for us. Yeah, I'd say just uh, use the Blade Master. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this this card, I so many Mage Decks do I have it, because it's just fantastic. Oh, yeah. Got it in my Mage Deck. Amazing card. I've never met, built in a pure Enrage Mage Deck, but I've, I've wanted to, where you just basically mm -hmm. take every Enrage. Yeah, except I Except like the Spiteful Smith. Don't um, mess with us. Because yeah, I've just I've seen some great situations with uh Okay, so let's see here. Well, technically you can explosive that light well. It's true, but it's not even gonna kill that. No. Uh all it would do all it would serve is getting rid of the light well, which is a useful thing. Um Let's see here. So either that or we could Oh, and in order to explosive shot the light well, we'd need to use the coin. Exactly. So then, yeah, we can either just attack the light well with our blade master, and then use the either the worgen or the ogre magi, and then the explosive shot will be do more damage if the magi is out. Hmm. Yeah. We can take him out now and then use explosive shot next turn, and that would kill the. No. I can't remember. Because... This, can the, the can the light well heal itself? I don't remember. Uh, cause I'm not gonna risk that, cause if we attack, so I think I'm gonna do that, and then attack with the side, and then we'll see what he does. Oh. Ha. <laughs> um, we'll see what he does, cause he, I, I feel like he'll kill the Blade Master, because he can. Man, that um, end turn button's looking kinda funky. Yeah, I know, it did. There's Glitches. a lot of little graphical bugs that pop up. Yeah, Ooh. I've had a card back stuck on the screen. Oh yeah, I've, I've had that before too. Okay, so this is an interesting situation because we can kill the light wolf explosive shot, but then we have a fen creeper to deal with. Yeah, but then you can kill the fen creeper with your ogre magi and it'll stay alive, right? Well, after you explosive shot. Yeah, no, 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 because the f it only does damage to adjacent minions. Oh crap! For some reason, I thought it was a full AOE. Yeah. yeah. So what we could do is use explosive shot, kill these two, mm -hmm. then arcane shot that, and then run my mage into it. Uh, but then the boar will just kill the mage. Um, yeah. That might be the best choice. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else we would do. I like how it turns into a uh, new shots. It turns into I don't have enough mana. Oh, that's right, I have to coin. Um, actually, you know what? Just screw it. That's how I roll. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, he's gonna. With my luck, he's gonna holy smite that and kill it. Sure. <laughs> and we 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 need our four attack minions. Oh yeah. Oh yes, we do. Against a priest. Yeah. Like, I always run into situations where I'm like, hmm, do I use the uh, do I use the owl or uh, what's the uh, the four three with silence? Oh, um, the spell guy. Yeah, the spell breaker, right? Is yeah. Well, whatever. I'm too worried about that. Yeah, it was like spellbreaker, or or owl. Eh, you know what? I'm using the spellbreaker because screw priests. That's why. The problem is, is nice. this, this owl can kill either of our two guys, so that's a pretty huge trade for for him. But we just drew a taunt. It's true. Um, 
So I think that's definitely the taunt and then just use the shooter. hero power. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we're looking okay. He's gonna... A, a Holy Nova would F us pretty badly right here. Well, it wouldn't be too bad because even if he Holy nova and then hit with the Owl, the Shield Master would still be alive. Ugh, he's, he's probably gonna, gonna combo that. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking too. Did we did we end up taking that deadly shot? I can't remember. <laughs> we'll find out. Because that would be the perfect anti-priest combo. Oh no! Who runs silence? <laughs> <laughs> he had it, 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 it. It's arena. It gave him the choice, and he yeah. picked it. Yeah. No, just um. Let's see here. Ooh. Ooh, so that gives us an interesting thing. Unfortunately, we still can't kill that. Uh, thinking, yeah, you can. Well, we can kill it, but I mean, I was thinking, because if we throw it on that, it would do six damage, but it wouldn't quite kill. Could always just throw out our... Hmm, no. I wonder... I mean, it wouldn't be a bad one to toss this out. Uh... Raise the Ogre Magi's damage. But it's not going to matter, because if we if we end up hitting it with this too, it, we're, you know, then then but, that's kind of a waste of its, of his battle cry, because... That's true. Um, it might be worth it to just throw out the Ravenhold Assassin or something. Wait. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because then you can Thank just you. take it out next turn with that. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. But it's fine, because... Um, that way, if he, you know, and can, you can you can dark iron dwarf him, yeah, yeah. exactly, and just and he get like a big attack to the face. Um, I mean, he doesn't have taunt anymore, so I'm not too worried about him taking a little, oh, taking one damage. And that's that's why the Mogashan Warrior isn't a very good card, is because okay, that's dumb. Okay, maybe the best case for this one is to. Use the Dark Arm Dwarf on our Senjin Shield Master and crush and hit him in the face. Yeah, that's or, what I was know, thinking. Kill that. We've got a High Main and Buzzard too. That's exciting. Ooh, yeah. So, do that. Kill that. Now we have four mana. Do we throw out the Buzzard now? Or do you want to throw out the, the Worgen? Well, we can do the Buzzard and Hero. Hero ability. Yeah, he might know that we're, you know, see that we took out the Buzzard and expect us to try and combo it and take out the buzzard with his next turn though it's true yeah um yeah might as well just do the worgen sure i mean it, it, I, I, we're looking really fine as it is anyway yeah uh <laughs> as well as in the face. Slap him. um so shadow word death okay that's expected <laughs> that's just kind of what i figured would happen yeah uh, and we still have our ogre so it's hopefully he doesn't have too many. Oh, well, that's lame. <laughs> Ooh, a light spawn. So heroes attacked, but it's only when the heroes attack. So, so should we do the buzzard in the high main? Um, yeah, I mean, then we get cards that we could potentially use next turn. Yeah, that's true. And high main is a. So how do we do? Do we just go for the face? What do we do about this light spawn? I mean, we can we can see the thing is I I hate it because at least if he kills the dwarf, hmm. he wouldn't kill the worgen if we kill if we attacked him with the dwarf and the worgen because his attack would go down to one. Yeah, but I, I'd hate to use two. See, what I'm thinking is we kill the owl with the dwarf, and then just hit the face with the worgen. Because the thing is, if we hit it, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I'd hate to... Then again, again, though, he could potentially raise the health of the light warden. And which would raise the attack. Or the uh, the light spawn. The light spawn, sorry. It's true. I was um, just thinking if we... Yeah. Just, yeah, do what you wanted to do. Go uh, go with the owl. Yeah, I'd say that. Because that way, he has to use the light spawn to kill the buzzard if he wants to kill it. Um, yeah. And then that'll weaken the light spawn and, and potentially, you know, make it so. Uh, Shadow or death. What is this gonna be? No, it's gonna be a silence. Must be. Oh, dude, I hope I wish. If that was Shadow or death, that would be amazing. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that's. Well, that's us. That's a 
silenced organ. Yeah. Is that it? Ooh, I don't think he knows how buzzards work. <laughs> he just did like the ideal thing for us. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, thanks. And then the scavenging hyena is what, whenever a friendly beast dies? Yeah. So definitely gotta throw out the hyena. Uh, Demolisher is pretty nice, or we can just get out our, uh, oh, we've got another... Might as well do another hyena. Well, I don't know. That'll that'll make us really vulnerable to, um... Holy Nova? Holy Nova. But, at this point, whatever, you know. You can even just throw out the ogre. I'll throw this side. Yeah. Job's done. And then that way, if he has a big minion, it's dead. Cool. Yeah, so we won this game. I'm pretty confident right now. So he's gonna Holy Nova... Maybe. He's gonna... He's gotta... Yeah, well, I mean, if he doesn't, we win no matter what. You have there he goes. Hey, look at that. Our shitty deck turned out to be... Oops. <laughs> and you said hello to <laughs> I meant to say good game. I meant to say well played. That's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, this is probably a good place to break our first episode as it's 31 minutes. Yeah. So there you go, guys. You saw us pick our deck, and you saw us win our first game, so... Stay tuned and you can see us play more games. Yep, we will have future episodes in following weeks. Yep. Thanks for watching.